Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is Fixed Sign Energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy showing some sort of change. So a situation is definitely taking some sort of major turn here, and it's it's definitely a positive shift with this energy. So I do see something is definitely um, changing a lot in this situation. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about the Sagittarius. So the first card we have is the Knight of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, we have the Queen of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy. So there's definitely this energy here of you coming across as very independent. Um, it's like your, your independence as well as emotionally independence. You're getting some sort of... Um, fulfillment that's coming from within with the nine of cups it's like an emotional um or self-love that's what you're cultivating with that nine of cups you're definitely coming across as very content and satisfied within yourself and it's almost like you're you're even turning your back on uh looking for love in some way with this queen of swords energy you're coming out as very rational it's like you're becoming very logical or detaching from feelings or um you know this desired outcome and it's like you're letting go of something and at the same time you're actually attracting someone towards you here with the knight of cups there's someone here who's wanting to um, show you affection someone here wants to um you know ask you out or it's like a confession of feelings romantic feelings this is someone who's coming towards you approaching you with their heart on their sleeve but you're coming across as very detached it's almost like you're not even waiting for this you're not expecting this this person is coming um approaching you almost like off guard with this queen of swords energy so there's this energy of you focused on yourself while someone else is very focused on you and i do see them surprising you with some sort of romantic gesture here okay so let's clarify these cards sagittarius Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Death card, and this is Scorpio energy, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So there's definitely someone here who has changed, someone here has made, undergone some sort of transformation. This could be you as well, 
with you showing up as the queen of swords and the nine of cups it's like you're becoming very emotionally independent and content with self you're definitely becoming more objective in a situation and it's like you're very much in control um there's some sort of transformation that has happened here that's that's definitely serving you um i also do see some the situation itself is transforming um someone is coming towards you with love with this nine of cups energy so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um sagittarius Okay, so the first card we have is the full card and this is aquarius energy next we have the five of swords air energy and finally we have the king of cups water energy so definitely somebody here has a lot of feelings that they want to give to you a lot of love here with the king of cups um however with the five of swords you are coming across as very strategic here there's this energy of you uh being quite calculated or careful in a situation here um operating a lot from logic while this person seems to be operating from their emotions this is someone who's following their heart towards you they want to take a leap of faith they want to initiate a new beginning with you this is someone who wants to start on a clean slate here and i do see them being quite optimistic this person is trying to win your heart so they are seeing you as someone who is quite a challenge at this time it's like they, they want to melt your um the cold energy that they are getting or perceiving from you um this this is definitely someone who is looking back at you so this could be somebody who you already have some sort of connection with um established you know this is someone who you may already know um but there's something about them it's like they've made some sort of change when it comes to how they approach you they are coming towards you with um from an emotional emotionally available place this is someone who's coming towards you with romantic intentions okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius okay so the card says work through your fears new moon in scorpio so we have more scorpio energy um so there is this energy here of um you healing something with the queen of swords it's like you're detaching from something that once had a very strong hold on you and instead you are cultivating some sort of independent self-love it's like you're pouring into your own cup it's almost as if you don't need this person anymore you don't need this love and that's when it's it's almost like it's chasing you down okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um sagittarius So the card says pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you okay so again with this five of swords energy and this queen of swords i do see you being careful here there's this energy of um not giving in here there's even an energy of being quite um detached not really allowing yourself to feel or to give in to certain emotions here you're, you're maintaining a certain boundary by showing up as this queen of swords and this could be you um you know trying to protect yourself paying attention to any red flags here because this is somebody who i, I do see you know this person in some way and um this person has they're coming towards you as a changed person but there's this 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 energy of needing to you know let them prove themselves um you know being slow to warm up to this person being cautious as well with this person okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you sagittarius So the card says white rose new start and wisdom 
knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. So there is definitely this energy of a newness, a new beginning, a new start, also gaining knowledge. Um, you know, with this Queen of Swords energy, it's like learning from your experiences. And with the Fool card, it's like jumping into something new, exploring something new. This could even be self-love, um, but I do also see someone here who wants to actually love you, someone who wants to give you some sort of romance and affection. But there's you very much with this Nine of Cups, it's like independence, emotional independence and also learning more about yourself and loving yourself deeper okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius